episode of Big Secure Visits. In this episode we're doing a kind of a mini-sode and we're visiting Luvian's in St Andrews. Luvian's is a specialist bottle shop and because my brother, a very nice person that he is, decided to give me some pennies to come and get some craft beer, because he knows I love craft beer, uh, and I want to find some American craft beer, because I see all these guys on YouTube having Arrogant Bastard Ale and other stone brewery ones and Lagunitas and things like that. I can't get any in my area, so I've come here to St Andrews because these guys hopefully will have some of the beers that I'm looking for. So, my brother waved goodbye to the Thai prostitute and then he pulled his trousers up because of the sheer weight of cash in his pockets. And then he gave me a few quid to come get some beer. This is Robbie Cunningham from Bluvians. Hi Robbie, how's it going? Yep, how are you? He's a very talkative lad. Yep, shy. Maybe. So Robbie, this is your beers over here, isn't it? So I'll, I'll yeah. these are all American ones as well as various American, other places. Belgian, Scandinavian, Scottish, right. Italian, German, Kiwi, all sorts. Let's go and look. Come on. It always sort of rotates. It just kind of changes at the moment, and there's a lot coming on out of the UK. So we got some beaver towns in recently. Weird beard, Colonel will be on our shelves for a while. Lots of Scottish stuff, Cromer Tea, Loch Fine, Empress. Um, there's the Eden Brewery and there's the Sandra's Brewing Company, reasonably nearby as well. Ah, and I, I, actually, I, I need to go and see these guys. Yeah. Um, because I, I've heard that there was a brewery in Sandra's, but I haven't. They're Citra. They're doing these sort of specials. And, um, so it's a wheat beer, single hop with Citra, yeah. and it's a uh, yeah, taste of pineapple. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's up there. So whereabouts are they? Well this isn't Glen Rothis, it's a man called Bob Fat. Uh, it's a one man operation, does it all himself, does all the bottling, labelling, brewing, everything by hand. He's priming, he does bottle by bottle. Like, really? Yeah, even on that sort Not of Not even batch priming? No. Um, right, God. He is, but his work pays off. He's yeah. Uh, Grey Lil was a Cameras Champion Beer Fight 2013. So that's pretty good going. Yeah. Um, from one man operation. He's from Yorkshire, Yorkshire Man United for a beer, you know. Well, well, that's he works hard at it. And uh, he's nice, thanks. I'm sure you can go up and down. I'm going to have to go and see that. That bloke in his beer production yeah. area. Right, so let's see, what have we got here? The one that, one that pops out to me at the minute is this one. Yep, that came in. Well, that's just on the shelf this morning. Arrived yesterday. So, weird beard. Yeah, uh, Green Bullet, Columbus, Pacific Gem, and Dr. Rudy? Yeah, I hadn't heard of that one either. I've never heard of that one either. <laughs> um, hoppier than an insert joke here. Better as a blah blah, just drink it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty good. So, where's that from? London. That's from where? London, I'm sure. From, from London? Yeah, there's a lot going on down there. They have all the parts and stuff. Vermont, you can see where it's at. Yeah. But yeah, the, the sort of selection rotates in the term time. We get a lot of Americans in, and we sort of yeah, the the shift in becomes uh, Belgian and American beer. Mm. Uh, whereas at the moment, we've got lots of drops. England's expanded all the way out to here. Um, yeah, it just changes. So are these it's sort of is this in country? Roughly, yeah, we roughly try to in that. geographic location as well. Yeah. Right. Okay. And the fridge is organised by colour, which is. Probably not the most sensible way, but we like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah, they're just kind of far along. We have them pictures of it as well. Like, well, every now and then we'll take pictures of it. We've got yeah. plenty of yeah. things like that, though. You need to. Now, one ale that I was really looking forward to, to finding was an arrogant bastard ale from Stone Brewery. But you don't have one. It's been a cell that I take back. You have got something, though, don't you? Yeah. One bottle of double bastard. You might call it an American strong ale. It's quite hoppy, it's quite malty. It's essentially, well, double arrogant bastard. 
I won't show you the price tag. <laughs> My God. 11% up for It's not shy. No, no, not at all. So there we go, folks. It's a bottle of Double Bastard. The only bottle in the shop. I'm going to buy this, despite the price tag. You know, I'm all, all of you know I'm tight. I'm still going to buy it. Yummy. Now, I've had two clones of the, the single version of this. Um, which was really good. I've never had one lick, I've never had a, an arrogant bastard or even this double bastard before. But have you tried this? Yeah. And um, we often have their uh, oh, arrogant bastard in as well. We get it for three five five now, and that's quite easy as well. It's got some, like more vanilla sweetness to it. So yeah, I like the stone stuff. Yeah. Have you got any um, what other stone ones have you got? Just that in the smoke porter at the moment. And um, they kind of come in infrequently. And when they come in, we buy everything we can, and it sells out quite quickly. Um, and it just sort of comes into the UK and waste. Yeah. So it's not like always on the shelf. When it's on the shelf, it's all there. And then it sells out. Cool. We might put that aside somewhere so something doesn't happen. Yeah, that is. Because I was looking for some dogfish head stuff. I don't think I'll be purchasing that one. But uh, yeah, so they've got a. Ale brewed with coriander, uh, orange peel, and of course I've got a wheat beer dry hopping at the minute with coriander and orange peel, and what else did I put in it? Columbus and Centennial pellet hops as well. Hoping that one's going to be tasty. Uh, this Rescue is actually like I'm a big fan of McKellar, um, obviously. Uh, Rescue they brewed with three Floyds in Munster, Indiana, Illinois, one of those states. Um, Yes, yeah, collaboration barley wine. Uh, so it's Reese Goop, so they brewed Poop Goop, Reese Goop, and Boo Goop. Boo Goop was buckwheat barley wine. This is a rice barley wine. And it was just like a wheat barley wine, if that makes sense. So a rice barley wine? Yeah, um, American style, very hoppy, very resinous. It's big as well, uh, but it's very, very good. I've had a few of them now. I uh, always enjoy them. But Three Floyds have a very good reputation, and they might bring sort of some together. Is this a. Ah. Nelson Soon will go into it then, I suppose. Yeah, they love that thing. Yeah, I'd like to get a hold of some of that as well. Seems to be a, a trendy hop. Say long, it's too long. Very new world from Kendrick's. It has a bit of Nelson Soon in it as well. Now that's there down in the borders, aren't they? Yeah. We had to go through quite a lot of like, uh, to get them. And they're a Scottish based brewery, but the stuff just never seems to. They didn't seem to have enough of it to get further than Edinburgh. Yeah. Uh, so eventually went down to England, and the easiest way for us to get it was to get it recorded yeah. back up. Yeah. It's a roundabout process, but uh, I feel it's worth it. I think you've got to work hard to jump the hoops and get kind of all the interesting things that you want to see on the shelves. But you know, I think I'm going to get one of those as well, because I've not tried any Tempest stuff, and I might make it to the Tempest Brewery at some point. I know that the guys um, I did a did a, a visit video to Thistley Cross in the bar and they did a collaboration with Tempest and they made a snake bite. We're waiting on Captain Bond arriving. This is a box. Oh, it's Thistley, right? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to move to here, get the, the plastic uh, homebrew bottles. Yeah. Just you will come in, may stay on the beach, fill it up. Take plastic bottles and just rip them. That's the idea. So we got that in that arrived yesterday. We just need some bottles to arrive from the home store. Yeah, because um, I mean, it's, we've got a beach right there, got a bunch of beaches, and as, uh, as a result, I think it's quite important to get a feature to that. Yeah, and so we're, we're, we've got behind the cat thing quite a lot. It's quite handy to take the beach. The Maui stuff kind of started it. It's going to be from Pittsburgh. Uh, we got to jump on it as well. Yeah. Uh, Chapito comes in pink cans. Oh, I think it's brilliant. Yeah, that is good. Yeah, you have to go down to the beach. Yeah, you've got to for the beach market, so students, like you want to get something in the library. Of course, yeah. yeah. yeah all that sort of stuff. I see what you mean about the colour coding there. So all the blue ones are together. The green and it, it changes. Like we're thinking of shaking out the fridge and do like a seed on shelf and like a. Holiday or something, but yeah, we're giving a lot of freedom and flexibility to bring a lot of one. You sell Walden, 
from his PC by the and, uh, by the yeah, Dam company. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, it's going to set off them, like so a, you know, you'll find it like in like a big lager. A big, big lager, so yeah, strong lager, I suppose, yeah. Hmm. That's good. Got that in for America as well. American cider. Ah, and I got a bottle oh, of that from Peter Stewart from Thistley Cross. Yeah, is that they ported it? Yeah. Is it good? It's, do you know what? It tastes like good quality apple juice. Yeah. You'd swear there was no alcohol in it. Um, yeah, I've been trying to do a couple of these, you can get that kind of um, rustic cider, shall we say? Yeah. Kind of like Norman style. That's a hard one to see. I hope you found some nice juice. Yeah, like more apple-y style. Thank you. Thank you. I really like the Thistle Cross Outer Flower, actually. Yeah, one of my favourites, in fact. Leslie, that's one of yours as well. So that's the one I couldn't get at the beer festival. Yeah. That's the one. That's the one that my wife couldn't get at the beer festival because when we got there, they'd sold out of cider on the first day. Boo! Down. I had ordered for a while as well. Top just opposite. But yeah. Hey, sold nice out stuff. So, what have we got in here? That, that uh, which one of these is, is one of your favourites? Then which one have you tried? Uh, well, this is an American. It's very hoppy. It's from Colorado. I'm sorry, it's like Colorado Durango. Modus um, operandi. Yeah. It's a very good beer. Very resinous. Yeah, I like can. Bitter, big. Uh, it sells pretty well, of course. I think I'm going to try one of those too. Oh, I'm in heaven. <laughs> cool. Alright, well, I will get one of those. What's this? White tabby. What? Yeah, Saison with the uh, lemongrass and all those other kind of more Thai spices rather than kind of Belgian spices. Yeah. Shouldn't sure. you go for the lemongrass lemon Saison, though, the Maui one? Yeah. Isn't that better? They've got an. Um, Maui, they're on Hawaii, that's a collaboration they did with Lost Abbey in California. Yeah, I've heard of that one. Yeah. So there we go. And it's delicious. It's tasty. Sorry, I don't know your name. Alice. Alice. Alice says it's tasty, look. I'm sure it's the game. How many, <laughs> how many of these have you drunk in? I've only had one, but I shared it with my husband and I was very resentful about having to share it with my husband. <laughs> you can't beat resentment, that speaks for itself. <laughs> <laughs> Got old chub from uh, Oscar Blues, also in Colorado. Oscar Blues. It's a Scotch ale and a can. I don't think you take a Scotch ale to the beach, but uh, you need to sit at home with one of them. No, dead pony club. I oh, know that's not um, obviously a, a really rude dog. Um, I don't think so. I know it's gluten free. I don't know about wheat. I'll just check um, with Robbie. Robbie, do we do any wheat free beer? I'm sure we must. Gluten free, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, yeah. gluten-free beer tends to be wheat-free. So okay, yeah, so we've beer, got, um, we have got four bottles, I believe, for that. And we've also got a big bottle as well. <laughs> so we've got some, yes. Chicken to the cans. Well, Scotch Ale, I'm going to get one of these, actually. I'm going to get a dead... Um, I don't know if they have... You're paying attention. Yeah, I was filming the cans. Okay. Yes, so... Mm, it's going to be trouble. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get a Dead Pony Club because I've never actually problem. tried this one. Thank you, um, bye. But I've heard good things about it, even though that's obviously a local brew from a certain perspective. Um, have you got any nanny state? No. no. Uh, they did it in bottle. Well, the last time they brewed it, it was just in their bars. And uh, they never actually came in bottles uh. to independent. Um, although I liked the bit Dead Pony Club. Very dry hopped. But, yeah. So it's got like, all the room with it, so much the bitterness. Big on Simcoe. Yeah. Brewed all the brew, big on Simcoe. Um, right, let's see what else we've got. Pikeland Pills, Pennsylvania. Uh, there's a big thing of hops on the front there. Is that? Sorry. Oh, thank you. Apologies. No problem. Um, tried that one, Robbie? Yeah, I had one on the beach. Uh, it's on the beach. No, not the cold. Yeah? Um, yeah. No. Big hoppy? Not that hoppy. Boo! Yeah. <laughs> They've got their, their IP was, was uh, decently hot, though. Was Sly Fox. Sly Fox. Sly Fox in Pennsylvania. Can we give that a shot? No. It's nice and chilled as well, it's perfect. Their, uh, their health has one of these white tops. Really? It seems to be a thing as well. We've yeah. seen more and more cans like that. And that's my suspicion anyway. Cool. Sly Fox Brewery in Pennsylvania. I'm going to get both of these. Recommendation of Mr. Robbie Cunningham. Um, Fenders came in recently and we kind of got behind them. We've got another on order from them. Founders IPA. So that's a, let's see what's, my writing's quite small on it, I think. 
Yeah. It's just sent in single hot. Just sent in single hot. Because that's not spicy. Spicy. So it might do. Yeah. So where, where is your finger from? I'm trying uh, to find it. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Founders. Yeah, I think we're going to have to give this one a shot as well. Yeah. Since that's the right one. Yeah. I think next, I need to find... Oh, yeah. I need to find a, a decent <laughs> imperial <laughs> stout. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have any imperial stouts coming over from America? Uh, strong thing from Big Creek. It wasn't the fastest seller for us, so it's had a good bit of a bottle aging, shall we say, for it. And I had one maybe two weeks ago, it's still tasting great though. And people find space that is reasonably priced. So that one is from Downington. Yeah. 9.1% for the Storm King from Downington, PA. Another recommendation. I'm going to get these two as well. Big fan of the Bells, so sort of coffee uh, radio. I like that. Yeah. Uh, it's their, I guess they're um, early spring seasonal. Uh, they do a variety of different seasons, like St. Luke Killen, one summer one, and Rick, and they're, they're both very, very good. Okay, so I'm also going to try this one. That's Red Ale from Odell's. Brewery. Coming from Odell's Brewing Company. Okay, so I'm also going to try this one. That's Red Ale from Odell's Brewing Company. Fort Collins, Colorado. Yummy, 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 yummy. Thank you.